in 1890, African Americans made up less than 2% of Detroit's population. Yet an extraordinary thing happened just three years later. One of a number of firsts involving William Webb Ferguson. He may well be one of the least known historical figures in Detroit. Tonight I want to share what I've learned of his story. It's a marvelous story and, and people need to talk about this, this legacy and this true champion. But to talk about William Webb Ferguson, one needs to know his life story and the historic role he played in Michigan's history. In 1889, Ferguson was denied service after refusing to sit in the colored section of the restaurant Inside Guy's European Hotel located on Monroe Street in downtown Detroit. He uh, sued uh, the restaurant and his case went all the way to the Michigan Supreme Court. It ended up becoming uh, the first uh, public accommodations lawsuit in the history of the state of Michigan. And he won. The court ruling that separation by race in public places was illegal. A year after uh, the court decision and uh, he, he ran for the uh, Michigan legislature and was elected uh, to the House of Representatives in 1892. For Ferguson, it was another first, becoming the first African American to serve in our legislature. Former state senator Buzz Thomas telling me he learned more about Ferguson's firsts when he decided to run for office himself. That was an important moment in Michigan history, obviously an important part of uh, black history uh, in, in the state of Michigan. I'm sure that people within um, the Ferguson family of the 19th century um, challenged him to, uh, to always be better. And uh, clearly he took that to heart and lived a life of creating uh, equal opportunity for people that looked like him. Fast forward to 2018, and a portrait of Ferguson was unveiled in the state capitol building. Flint Mayor Sheldon Neely was chairperson of the Michigan Black Legislative Caucus at the time, pushing for the representation. I did a lot of tours for children and, and children of color. Uh, and you cannot become what you cannot see. As they looked at all the, uh, the portraits in the Capitol, but no persons of color was on the wall of the Capitol of great American and Michigan ganders. The portrait that was commissioned changed that, and its placement was intentional. They put his portrait right outside the old Michigan Supreme Court chambers. The tour guides really supported that too, because when they take school kids, on tours of our Capitol building, you know, their plan is to stop at that painting and give a little uh, explanation description of who, who is hanging on the wall and why it's so significant. We could talk about the other illnesses that we have and, uh, as far as discrimination or racism, but we also have to make sure that we tell the stories of our successes. And William Webb Ferguson was definitely that. And again, speaking to Ferguson's successes, it would take another 49 years before another black Detroiter was elected to the state legislature. As for his first, there's one more. This son of a doctor was also the first African-American child to attend Detroit public schools. Important lessons that children certainly need to learn and remember. We all need to learn. And certainly, certainly.